Hi Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. So we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. This, the creator of this deck, um, says in the book that her intention um, I wish I could remember her name, but her intention is that the queens rank higher than the kings in this deck. So this queen of cups is holding the same status that we normally think of as the king of cups in tarot. Okay, so the moon reverse, Pisces. Lots and lots of water here. You could definitely be dealing with, or you could be a water sign, a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. But regardless, what I will say is this is someone who is hugely sitting in their feelings for you right now. If you're wondering... Um, let's say you've just met this person, although the readings that I tend to, or the situations I tend to tap into on my channel are these longer term, um, you know, sort of higher vibrational, more difficult connections like soulmates, twin flames. But if you have just met this person and you're wondering, is there potential? Do they have feelings? Absolutely, there's potential. And yes, their feelings are developing rapidly, probably more quickly than they would have thought. If this is someone you've been dealing with for a long time, um, they absolutely, yes, they love you and they're, they're okay with this fact. They're not pushing it away. They're not running from this. They are sitting in the middle of all of this love and these feelings. Um, whatever your situation, this person feels that there is something very destined about your connection. And they, I know we're not yet looking at their actions, but I can already see it here a bit, to be honest. They're charging forward towards a particular goal, a particular outcome with you. That goal could be reunion, reconciliation, reaching out if you've not spoken for a while. It could be moving things forward to higher levels of commitment. If you live at a huge physical distance, it could be traveling to come and see you. But whatever it is, the intention is to clear the path for this forward movement here. Okay, so, and also I feel to ground these feelings that they have. They no longer are happy to just dream about you, daydream about you. It's like, let's actually, let's bring these feelings through. Let's do something with them. We have the sun reversed. So we go from the moon reversed to the sun in reverse. So you see they're on this mission to bring clarity, to bring light and truth here. We have Leo energy. We have the full Aries Aquarius. Yeah, this person is uh, on a mission for a new beginning here. And if, you know, let's say you're already in a relationship, the new beginning would be, let's go from being in a relationship to being married. Let's go from living separately to living together or, you know, whatever the next step of, is for the both of you in this commitment. <laughs> also, oh, I've just remembered the fool. I remember from the book, you see she's standing on this hat and there are hands reaching out, you know, these men trying to get her attention. These are the exes and she's sort of trampling all over them because she's done with them. You know, she's moving forward. She's got her eyes set on something else. That's how this person feels about you. So if there are exes in the past or there have been people sniffing around, this person is perfectly happy to trample all over them, you know, um, like literally use them as stepping stones to get to you. And I don't mean that they're manipulating other people or anything, but just to say really that this person is completely done with other people. They're not interested. And anyone who's trying to stick their noses in somehow, it's almost like even if they're trying to work against you and your person, it's helping to bring you together. So let's say someone's in your person's ear moaning about you, telling them nonsense. It just confirms to your person, ah, they're jealous of, of, you know, my person, which is you, the viewer, because they're so fabulous or whatever. It just basically, whatever they're hearing, it's reinforcing to them that they want to come towards you even more. Maybe it's just making them think, I don't like these gossipy people I'm around. I'm not listening to them. We have the Knight of Cups reversed and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so why is the Knight of Cups reversed though? The rest makes sense. Ace of Wands, new beginning, moving forward, passion. She's standing here, um, it looks to me like in something in the shape of a keyhole. So of course, you know, you have the key to cheesy as it is their heart. Um, you, they see you as being the doorway to get through to, you know, the future that they envision. Also, there is something about <clears throat> like unlocking a door and showing what's behind it, revealing, speaking their truth. <clears throat> Why is the Knight of Cups reversed, please? The Queen of Swords. So remember, the same status as the King of Swords. Oh, what they've just not told you. 
Well, that makes sense. So they have this full intention of coming towards you and speaking um, the truth about the romantic feelings. Wow. So for some of you, this person's not even told you that they have seen you in a romantic way. And meanwhile, in the background, they've moved from intrigue, passion, romance, attraction into love. And they've not even told you, oh, I see you as more than a friend or more than a colleague or whatever it is. Wow. They've got a lot to say, I guess. Nine of Swords. This always makes me think of someone sitting at an organ. Um, so this, <laughs> not to be rude, of course, and, and said with um, compassion and good humour, this could be someone you're dealing with who has a flair for the dramatic um, sometimes. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, yes, they could be over analysing, worrying too much. They could be very much in their head, but it's a bit like calm down, relax a bit. It's not quite as stressful and dramatic and as extreme as you're thinking so maybe they do have a tendency to to um maybe you think overreact or be dramatic or make um mountains out of molehills that sort of thing um and that could have sent them running in the past even if the thing that has really made them panic is their feelings in the past you know um yeah okay so that's what they are thinking and feeling and actually a bit of what they're planning and the potential here but let's have more of a look at their actions and the potential this depiction of the queen of swords as well is really making me think of um the justice card so yeah you know justice libra energy but um they understand it's bal balanced it's fair it's right it's what they want, it's what you deserve. Just pushing this forward, getting focused, not letting anything or anyone get in their way, delivering truth that they've been holding back, not being um, flaky or, you know, uncertain and coming towards you and pulling away. There's a feeling that both of you deserve for this person to be focused in their intentions and determined and committed. It's also what they want at this time. So let's see actions, please. The actions this person is currently taking towards my viewer, please. Look at this. Eight of Swords reverse. So yeah, they don't want to be trapped just, you know, in their head anymore or feeling like there's nothing they can do. We have the Six of Pentacles reversed. Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So they, they're not sure what to offer. They know exactly what to say. It's just the truth, really, of how they see you and how they feel about you. But in terms of what to offer you, they might literally be wondering, um, you know, should they offer meeting up if you've not seen each other for ages? Or maybe this has been an online connection and they want to offer meeting face to face. Um, should they offer an official commitment? Is it too soon to go in with that? Should they offer, um, I don't know, relocating to to move in together if you're at a distance, you know, if you're further along in your relationship or connection? Yeah, it's a feeling of, I don't know what to give you. Because this is someone in their mind, once they've said to you, I feel this way about you, it's logical to then offer something or, or take some kind of action this is not someone who wants to say oh i yeah oh by the way um i see you as more than a friend or yes i'm in love with you okay bye you know it's almost like yes i feel this way about you so if you feel the same should we do such and such or something like that eight of wands reversed what are there actions at this time towards my viewer please knight of wands reversed the page of wands whoops and the world yeah for some of you this person the action they're planning to take right now is to manifest we've got the magician on the back gemini energy some kind of um a trip towards you whether they're crossing the sea vast amounts of land or if they're just you know walking around to your house from the next road over there's a, a planned trip here for some of you also a message it's going to be a smaller message maybe um, a dm text message something like that um they are delaying in terms of big action towards you and, and offering it's they really just don't know what to offer two of coins knight of pentacles please yeah see confusion seven of cups it's like i could do this this or that actually maybe this would be better or should i do both of those things 
Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, what do I do? What do I offer here? Tell us about the world, please. King of Pentacles, uh, one of the things they're doing right now, if for some of you, if they're in um, a third party situation that's holding them back from you, whether that's another relationship, marriage, work, um, responsibilities to family, the community, whatever it is, they're making changes here and wrapping this up. You may not know about this though, with the moon here on the back, more Pisces energy there. Show us what comes after the world, please. What's their intention here? Temperance reverse, Ace of Cups reverse. First of all, healing. Um, temperance Sagittarius energy. So a new start with you, but they want to make sure they don't rush into it, that they do their healing first. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. So making a choice. This person has made a choice. The lovers reverse. They have made this choice. We've got Gemini energy here. I also feel like they want to close out, they want to close the door on the cycle of missing opportunities with you. This could be someone who even looks at you as a twin flame or a soulmate, um, regardless of whether they know that terminology or not, you know, it's it's a feeling at the very least that they have. The initial M or W could be significant. Um, I do think their intention here though, if the message resonates about closing out a third party situation and that won't be for all of you but if it does i think this person doesn't want overlap they want to take a bit of time for themselves first before they come forward um and you know do all this confessing of their feelings and try and figure out something to offer you um because you know the lovers in reverse it's starting to slip into that shadow side of the devil so they're not completely you know going under and, and getting into a difficult place but they will need time to get back to um neutral you know What's on the back here? Yeah, Four of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. I feel for most of you, you're going to get some sort of a message. It may not be initially the message that says everything. I almost feel they maybe want to do that face to face, but I do think you will get some kind of a small message. Um, okay, so let's move on to messages from your person. And I have several decks here to use today. So... Can you show our spirit? What would my viewer's person say to my viewer at this time? What would they like to say to my viewer at this time? Holding back, yeah. I should have expressed myself better. Hope I haven't given up on us yet. For some reason today with the word hope, I'm drawn to the fact that that could be a name. So I don't know if someone watching or someone's person is called hope. I was just thinking, did I know someone called hope? I didn't, I knew someone called grace. So grace, hope, I don't know why she came to mind. Um, we have dishonesty by lying, I ripped us apart. So I think for a lot of you, the dishonesty is, is within, you know, the holding back, holding back their feelings. And we have reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Yeah, and I think that's what this energy is about, them wanting to come towards you with complete focus and determination. Even if it takes a while, because for some of you, there is something that they need to leave and end first. Then they want this period of not rushing here, of, of healing, then coming forward. And it's like, okay, fine, I will do that. Understanding, I see your side of the story. Reveal, I want to tell you the truth. We have runner, I don't want to run anymore. Yeah, they clearly ran from this and their feelings in the past. And we have indecisive, I know my inability to make a decision that hurts you. What's on the back? Mm, yeah, third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. And that's something they just don't want anymore. For some of you, looking at, we've got Temperance, um, Ace of Cups, the lovers reversed. If you are in a third party situation, whatever that situation might be, they could be saying, even once I'm free and clear of any obstacles on my side, I don't know if I should hold back or not because I'm not sure what's going on with you in your situation. So if you know your person's hesitant because you're in a situation yourself, I mean, that could, um, you know, be a factor here, something to consider. But like I said, I think I think you're going to get a message anyway. Um, just an initial, maybe it's even like an olive branch sort of a message for some of you if you've not seen each other or even spoken 
in a while, or maybe the last time you spoke you had a falling out or something. Okay, so messages please, and this deck is linked in the description box, it was sent to me by Amy Satori, if you like it, um, and you'd like a copy. Okay, messages please to my viewer, for my viewer, from the person they're watching this video for. Um, turns out you were right, my ego's bruised, but ultimately I want you in my life more than I need to be right. Um, I just have to swallow my pride a minute, as I'm not used to feeling this, so... Some of you might be feeling like it would be a miracle if my person actually got over themselves and their ego and reached out first, especially if this is someone who does have a flair for the dramatic. Um, oh, look, Page of Cups is underneath. And the Eight of Wands is underneath that. Yeah, so um, the miracle might be that they actually are getting over themselves and they will reach out to you first. Um, you are pushing me away, trying to control this and us. Please give me space right now so I can be sure my decisions are based on what I truly want at my core and not because you're pressuring me. Um, yeah, so if you are sort of, if you know you're chasing them or uh, especially if they're running, you know, or trying to get them to respond to you or reach out, I would say pull back. Seems like, you know, they're focused and determined enough um, as it is anyway. Just because I love being intimate with you, it doesn't mean I'm using you or being a player. It's just my most comfortable way of showing you my love for you without words. Mm, and that's coming out on top of dishonesty. Okay, definitely feel that they held these feelings back in the past. <laughs> I'm working on a plan to surprise you right now. Um, and don't want you to have a clue about when, where, or how it's coming. Surrender to the mystery, it will be worth the wait. And I actually do think they are, with that two of coins, seven of cups, which, you know, what should I do, what should I do? Um, so yeah, I think they're trying to take control here. So whether you're a man or woman, we're not talking about sex here, we're talking about energy. Fall back into feminine energy, which is about receiving. So this person can step up and be in their masculine energy. Um, I was talking to someone a while ago and I was like, please, can you try and, you know, make more decisions and take charge more? And he very delicately said to me, well, you know, you have quite a strong energy. <laughs> which is true i have very masculine energy and i was getting annoyed because he wasn't having enough masculine energy but i wasn't making room you know for him to have that energy so it's kind of that pull back a bit um if i haven't said it yet or in a while i love you yeah i, I don't know if i have i for some of you i don't even know if they have told you they like you okay what I'm going through would burden you and I don't want to stress, I don't want to add stress to your life. I'm protecting you from all the drama, so please trust I know what I'm doing. Okay, so that could be, you know, if they're closing out this other situation, whether it's another relationship, disconnecting from a particular community, making changes around work, finances, that sort of thing. <clears throat> we have, um, I don't trust this connection right now. Maybe it's what my friends have been saying. I'm just feeling skeptical. Am I imagining this delusion or have you cast a spell on me? I hope it's real. Okay, the first thing to say is if they feel this way, definitely pulling back will help them to come back to balance and realize they still have feelings for you. They can trust the connection and to see that you're not doing anything, you know, alarming in the meantime. But do you know what this makes me feel, um, think of? That message I was saying, um, where was it? I'm sure it was It was a moment ago I was saying about if they've had people in their ear saying things, then, or even if people are saying things now, it's just reaffirming to this person that these people are jealous and there's a reason to be jealous because you're incredible or um, it's making them realise they want to detach from that community or those friends or those people and come towards you. So, yeah. I do think for some of you people have been saying nonsense and gossiping and your person may have listened in the past, um, but I don't think they're listening anymore. I'm so angry or jealous I can't see straight. It's amazing how much this card comes out in these readings. Let me calm down before I'll reach out to you if I decide to. I just can't believe you did that. Now, for some of you, maybe you know exactly what this is about. Um, for others of you, it could just be your person gets jealous if they feel like you're talking to someone or if anyone else is around or anything like that. So essentially what I'm seeing here repeated is 
don't chase them let them reach out to you um I mean, look, if you've got something to say, and this is obviously me and my masculine energy here, <laughs> say it. Don't ever feel you have to silence yourself and cross your fingers and hope that someone will, you know, say something to you first. But um, if it's a situation where you just sort of, it would be nice to talk to them or you're missing them, but you feel like it's always you who reaches out, I would say maybe then try and sort of, you know, um, let them take the initiative here. Uh, especially especially if it is always you or maybe the last time it was you it's kind of you know it's their turn really as well okay so what other messages do we have please for my viewer from their person god i'm sorry i held myself back with you and this is coming out on top of the holding back card see how much they're thinking about missed opportunities and not having shared their feelings with you your beauty still moves me um for some reason beauty was making me think of the word boozy so i don't know if some of you went out and you were drinking with this person and or you went somewhere where people were kind of like relaxing having a laugh maybe there were some drinks and your person was like my gosh you're stunning or handsome or whatever it was um maybe that's like the first time they saw you or they really could have sort of noticed you or something like that You've affected my life significantly. Um, I just got caught up in the moment. So that could be if they've done something they regret here. Um, okay, you are an angel. We have, I'm afraid to take that next step right now and we have you inspire me. I am working towards a better future. I miss you regardless of how things seem. Clarify being afraid to take the next step, please, because that just feels out of sync with the rest of the reading. So let's see. You are irreplaceable. Okay, so maybe if I take you know a step towards you and you're not interested, um, I know I'll never find anyone else who you know makes me feel this way. Um, I feel safer in the silence yeah so the fear is this step towards you in case you're not interested who are they ever going to find to replace you no one I'm thinking of that song by um, oh, I, it's um, Selena Gomez I think it's Tacky Tacky is that is that even what it's called I know that's in the song and there's Cardi B bit and she says I'm about to swear in case anyone's you know doesn't want to hear it she says something like uh, i'm a bad bitch who are you gonna leave me for i think that's the line and it makes me laugh every time and that's kind of what this person is feeling except about you you know who are they gonna leave you for <laughs> who can they replace you with no one okay so let's see messages um i can't handle you not being in my life forever for now but not forever yeah if it takes time to get this you know in its perfect place with commitment no obstacles no third parties no issues that's fine um i accept that but i'm not gonna you know just accept us not being each other's lives full stop i honestly don't think anyone will love you more than i do just saying yeah and that's taking me back to that jealousy card you know getting jealous and feeling like why are other people talking to you they obviously don't feel the same about you that i feel they have no business you know taking what's mine if this person you know sort of feels that way about you are you sorry for hurting me you make me so nervous sometimes it's hard to breathe i always think that's so dramatic <laughs> that's not even a thing though does anyone get so nervous that it's hard to breathe i mean if we're talking about someone having a panic attack that's not just nerves is it from what i understand that's like other stuff as well but just nerves maybe shallow breathing it's quite extreme yeah again look i'm not saying that's not true and maybe this person has a medical condition i don't know but like for some of you this person's very dramatic um i loved you more than i loved myself then i realized i didn't love myself mm.
I'm not sure if you love me for me or who you think I am. Well, that would be a fear if they've hidden themselves from you. We have, again, I am angry with you. Oh, but really, I am angry at myself. Hmm. You may not be perfect, but you're perfect for me. Okay, so that's all the messages that I have. Definitely this person's got some feelings of jealousy or a bit of possessiveness around you. They don't like other people encroaching upon their thing, which they think is, you know, this situation with you, that, that, that it's their thing. <laughs> um, no one else's. Um, are you sorry for hurting me? I mean, look, maybe they're actually wondering. Maybe you did something that hurt them that you know of, or maybe they're dramatic and sensitive. And, um, you know, they're holding on to something that you have no idea about and they're wondering you know do you care um okay so let's get you some messages guidance and advice from spirit so spirit what is your guidance and advice for my viewer please in this situation I think 100% we've already seen the advice is to be more in a divine feminine kind of energy. So attracting towards you, drawing towards you, not going out and pursuing. We have, oh, change and progress. Well, there we go. Yes, and I think by being in this receptive energy, you're going to get the most change and progress here. And you can see how this um, person's just come off of these rapids and the sail is all torn up. And even the cat is clinging on for dear life there. So I feel like you're at the end of this kind of turbulent, stressful um, journey or a particular cycle or phase and maybe the cycle's gone on for months or years and look see this person's about to get off and walk along this very enchanted path here so yeah okay let's get one more of these oh look wow rebirth and reinvention oh look at the baby turtles So clearly we have this energy of a new, a new cycle coming in, a whole new beginning coming in. We have the dolphins in the background, so symbols perhaps of play, fun, laughter, companionship. Um, I feel like maybe soulmates, twin flames. I am noticing that we have three. However, this doesn't give me anxiety, like, oh, we're looking at a third party, not in this card. So maybe for some of you there's three people in this situation that are meant to be there and wanted to be here for others of you it could just be i don't know what it could be you your person and then one of the dolphins symbolizing the union between you a child maybe or like something you're going to create together um companionship with a particular community i don't really know but these feel very positive but i am noticing the fact that there are three versus say two um, so let me know if you have any thoughts around that or if that means anything specific to your particular um, situation that there would be three dolphins here and that everyone's very pleased with that. Um, okay. Mm. So let me finish with a card or two from the animal um, spirit guide deck. Whoa, sorry if that was loud. Penguin, oh my goodness, yes. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing, absolutely. Change, progress, rebirth, and reinvention. Oh. Let's get one more. We have, oh my gosh, yes. Ladybug, this is a time of good fortune and abundance. Nice. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. And this is about receiving. You don't have to go and chase them down that's that's incredible amazing so i will leave this here so i hope this resonated i hope it helped thank you so much for watching um like i said i'm probably going to put out a twin flame reading tomorrow um and on wednesday i have the subscriber requested reading so yeah hopefully i will see you back for both or one of those okay bye